morning. Welcome to Ordinary Days, where life with God is anything but ordinary. I'm Denise Larson Cooper. Psalm 146.9 says, The Lord frustrates the ways of the wicked. To begin, let's define the wicked as all unsaved sinners who allow their iniquitous character to rule their hearts. They are those in disagreement with the will of God, his decisions, and his choices. The wicked think that God's plan of the incarnation is folly and his purpose for salvation inconsequential. So, they create purposes and plans of their own to oppose him. They are enemies of God. In response to the wicked, God renders their plans worthless. He thwarts their schemes and purposes. Some might think this is divine mischief, but in fact, it is divine mercy. God hinders the plans of the wicked so they will redirect their steps, repent, and be reconciled to him through faith in the saving work of Christ. Original sin plunged the world into wickedness. Romans 5.12 says, Just as sin entered the world through one man, Adam. Through Adam, all men became wicked, but through a series of divinely designed obstacles, the incarnation, the cross, and the resurrection of Christ, God changed human destiny from eternal death to eternal life. Christ's entrance into the world is the ultimate obstacle to the ventures of the wicked. Soon the plans of the wicked will wither and fade in the glorious triumph of Christ. Look at Psalm 33:11. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever, the purposes of his heart through all generations. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for frustrating the wicked with your Son, Jesus Christ, so many can come to him for salvation. Amen. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.